How's it going, everybody? This is Robin of Guest back with another video talking about B Stars. We'll be talking about season two, episode ten, the chef's whimsical suspense. And there's there's a little bit to talk about with this one, and it's actually really cool. Um, I guess to start off, um, we have a moment with Tem, who is I, I guess he's into cooking, or not Tem? I'm sorry, I don't know why I said Tem. I meant Riz. Riz is apparently into cooking. He likes to cook, especially for his roommates. That's something that he mentions right off the bat. And he kind of reflects on the fact that apparently after what happened with Tem, he no longer has a sense of taste. I guess, you know, after eating his friend, he probably loses sense of taste altogether, especially after he's eaten, you know, you know, his friend. But you know, to some extent he realizes that with Pina and Lagoshi still around they might cause problems for him as well as tarnish his relationship with Tem so he tries to uh, intimidate Pina who basically you know through you know really creative acting tells him to fuck off <laughs> which I thought was great and to a certain degree um we also have a kind of interesting moment, or a kind of cute moment, with Haru and uh, Lagoshi, who Haru confesses her love to Lagoshi, and uh, she mentions how at this point, even though she's over Louis, she uh, is concerned about him because he doesn't, you know, call, text, email, etc. And with this, you know, this interaction with Haru, it kind of strengthens Lagoshi's resolve to not only protect her, but protect the other herbivores. And at some point after, goes to talk to Pina, who kind of made a stupid decision to try to uh, kind of bait Riz to do something. And the worst part, it was by uh, placing a letter in Riz's... Uh, locker to bait him and Lagoshi tries to stop or you know at this point try to collect the letter but proceeds to be uh, intercepted by Riz who is you know freaking strong but I guess at the worst time his uh, the side effects of his pills start kicking in and as he tries to grab a uh, a uh, friggin' uh, squeeze bottle of honey. Lagoshi grabs it and throws it out the window, showing Lagoshi Riz's true colors. And by the way, I didn't realize it till he started talking more, but, and I'm pulling out my phone so you guys hear the clicking. Um, it, for, for the longest time, especially with the last couple of the episodes, I was kind of wondering, where have I heard Riz's voice before? And I found out, I, I do, after doing a quick Google search, I found out that it's Patrick Seitz. And for those who don't know, Patrick Seitz is the one that voices uh, Dio Brando in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Phantom Blood through Star Crusader. So, yeah. That was a uh, that was really cool, and unfortunately, now that I know that information, um, all I hear is, um, you know, you know, Dio, <laughs> and I'll basically, you know, shouting out the world. But either way, it was cool, um, and to an extent, they're they Legoshi and Riz start to fight. Legoshi unfortunately gets his. It gets a really deep freaking uh, cut from uh, Riz's claws over his eye, which, uh, due to you know the blindness from the blood, Riz grabs him and then they both start fighting in a uh, what looks like a, a public shower area. Which the fight itself is really cool, and Lagoshi is able to get a few good hits on. Uh, Riz, or I guess Slash, as I should say, 
because he got he, he basically put some deep cuts into uh into Riz. And at one point we have this moment where they're interrupted where this uh, cleaning lady shows up and Riz char tries to charge at the door. Legoshi thinks that he's going to kill her, but it turns out no, Riz is like, oh no, I'm sorry. And like kind of like at a drop of the hat, he goes, oh, I'm sorry. Um, we'll, we'll get out of here pretty soon. Uh, this and that. And for a second, and he's like, okay, let's, let's just end this fight right now. And before you know it, as he walks past Legoshi, you know, charges at him and basically declares, you know, I'm, I can't forgive you for what you did to him. What you're doing is wrong. What you did was wrong. And basically kind of postpone their fight for New Year's. Which gives Legoshi time to prepare. But acknowledging the fact that he's not strong enough. He may not even be strong enough to fight Riz. And with a conversation with uh, Gohin... Gohan mentions, like, for the last second of the episode, mentions that there might be a chance to strengthen Legoshi before the fight. But what do they do? We won't know till the next episode. So I'm really excited. And all in all, I think the greatest part was probably the fight. Um... Especially since this, I think, uh, with the last couple of episodes, this has been something that's been kind of building up. Um, and it sucks that it only lasted for a quick second. But all in all, I'm really excited. So, I think the next episode, I'm hoping we can figure out what this training is going to be. Other than that, really excited. We got two more episodes. Um, hopefully, everybody who's, you know, been watching my videos, hopefully you guys are checking out this show too. And... If you guys have any thoughts, leave in the comments down below. Um, I'm going to end it here. So, again, if you guys have any thoughts, leave in the comments down below. Like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. If you guys want to follow us on social media, links are in the description down below. As well as check out our daily content and the weekly podcast. With that being said, this is Robin Novacast signing off. Have a good one. Take care and peace.